guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am doing a video of where I'm testing or redoing, reusing, bringing out all the makeup that I have abandoned. So this is the look I created, came up with. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, what products I use, if I like them, if I didn't, then continue to watch this video so you can find out if I love them or hate them and if I like this look and how, how it turned out, if I like everything. So, yeah. So, for my foundation, I don't have a primer because there's no primers I actually used to use apart from the professional, but I didn't rebuy really it because I just abandoned it. The foundation that I'm going to be using is the Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation from Poundland. <laughs> this is it it's in the shade beige four so i didn't go out to poundland to buy a makeup just like to buy a foundation like yes i want a cheap alternative i'm gonna go buy a foundation poundland i did film a video for poundland makeup like testing it and not sure if i put it up i also did it for primark but i don't think i put that one up and i did one for new look and i know i put that one up so that's where this has come from we're just gonna go in with it i know that it's very orange so i also have really really light concealer from mua that i will be using again later um but that's just to tone it down i'm gonna use a brush also like i never use brushes i normally use sponges um but i don't really have a foundation brush either brush either so i've got this multitask face brush i'm gonna use it as a brush to put my foundation on because i don't want to use my beauty blender one it's really dirty and i need a new one and i'm just gonna use a brush because why the hell not and i never use this brush unless i'm putting powder on my face Okay, so now I'm going to put this MUA Cover and Conceal Concealer in the shade Fair on. It's just very, very, very pale concealer. Look at my face. Like, you can see the colour just does, doesn't match whatsoever. Okay, I feel like I put way too much on, but we'll go with it. Plus, there's loads of orange on the brush, so yay. Okay, so this is my foundation. As you can see, the coverage is so bad, like you can, it's just pretty much my skin. So the concealer I'm going in with is the Primark PS Concealer. I think this was like 90p. Um, it's in the shade Ivory and it's a stick concealer. I actually like despise stick concealers or with a passion, but you know, it's the only old concealer I have in there. There was another stick concealer, but you know, I've got to go with this one. So I'm going to go with this one and do pretty much everything on it because I feel like this is going to be a lot thicker than the liquid one. Um, I'm going to go with the thick one and then I'm going to put the liquid one on top and just try and like cake everything on my face. <laughs> like with this foundation being so light and non-existent. So I'm going to go in with the same brush. Now it's pretty much got nothing on it. And blend this out to my best ability. Actually, I'm going to use a smaller um, multi-task cheek brush although i never use this for cheek i never really ever use this brush it was just an extra brush that came in the pack okay that's going to be the best it's blended it's definitely like looking more pale on camera than it is in real life so yeah not that sticky just very very pale like in real life it's not as pale as the camera showing up That might help a little. I was really dark and I didn't even realise. Okay, so the next product I'm going in with is the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder. Again, this is Poundland. Um, from the video I filmed. Here it is. This is it. In the shade Sand 4. I'm just going to go with my powder brush. I think this is a powder brush. Yeah, it is. And it's covered in a bunch of makeup. I need to wash my brushes desperately. Like, very desperately. Here's my face, very powdered. I'm gonna go in with the Instant Concealer Crayon. Um, this brown, it's from Primark, it's a PS collection. I think it's focused, I'm not really sure. But to be honest, I've never actually used this crayon apart from in the video. So I'm gonna use this crayon and then blend that out and then put powder on top and you know, see how, see how I feel. I feel like I've just rubbed a bunch of poo on my head. Do I do my nose? I mean, I'm quite content with my nose. So, let's not. I'm going to use the multitasking cheek brush again. And I'm just going to blend this out. Right, there's just no going back. So, the bronzer that I'm going to go in with is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is a mini one. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what it looks like. But here it is. Like, it literally looks like someone's gone and pooed on my head. 
maybe I should put some more like in the bits where there isn't anything. Do you know what I mean? So I blended them in. I mean, no. Right, that is the reason why I abandoned that blue and crayon. We're gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer highlighter and yeah, I'm gonna use my highlighter brush that I always use. The Mary Luminizer highlighter on, so you can see it, like it's not invisible. Oh my God, it literally looks like so bad. And next I'm going with the Urban Decay Naked Illuminating Body Shimmer. Again, this one just isn't as pigmented as the other one, and that's the reason why I've abandoned that one as well. I'm going to do my eyebrows first, just because they stress me out, and I'm going to go in with the MUA Luxe Mid Brown Eye Pomade, but it's called a Power Brow Long Wear Sculpting Brow Gel. Right, that's what we're going with. We're going with them eyebrows. Not really a big deal to me right now. Okay, so the next products I'm going to go in with are eyeshadow. Oh, there we are. Um, so I've got this nine shade eye palette from Primark and this was £2.50, it still has a sticker on. Here it is. And then I've also got the MUA eyeshadow in Peony. Well, let me open the lid to show you. There we are. That's the shade. So I'm going to go with the pink one, obviously. And then with the nine shade eyeshadow palette, I'm going to kind of work with it. Don't know what I'm going to do, but I know the pigment's going to be awful. There we go. Finally, I'm going to go in with mascara, and this is a Makeup Gallery Plump Up the Volume Volumizing Mascara from Poundland. <laughs> I feel like most of this makeup is from Poundland, but there's no, like, proper makeup product that I don't love that I'm using now um, that I've repurchased and then abandoned. Like, this is the only thing I've purchased and then abandoned, mascara-wise. So, yeah, this is the wand, if anyone's interested. So yeah, that's the wand if anyone's interested. I'm just gonna go with it. Finally, I'm coming to my lip. I am going for a purple shade and I haven't worn my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Glastonbury in ages. Like literally, like probably a year. I feel like I've tried to wear it a few times and hated it, so I rubbed it off straight away. But I've also got my Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon from Primark to use, which I have checked, and they're very, very similar in colour, um, if not, like, pretty much identical. I feel like this may be slightly darker, but that's fine. I hate it. Oh, God. But guys, if you think this lipstick suits me, can you let me know? Because I'm so undecided whether to bring it back out for winter, but I just feel, obviously, because I work all the time, I just wear nudes. Um, but it just doesn't suit me. I mean, I love how white it makes my teeth look. Hey, but that is it. That is the end of this video. I think I filmed for like an hour because I'm doing my makeup, it takes me forever anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, let me zoom out a little bit. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, I thought it was kind of different. Like, I've never filmed a video like this before. But if you did enjoy this, then let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!